Tonight, Ohio governor and Republican presidential candidate John Kasich is in New Hampshire holding a house party in Manchester and a holiday town hall in Portsmouth. In between those two events, he's squeezing in some time to answer some questions for us. And he's joined by his lovely wife, the First Lady of Ohio, Karen. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us. So behind every successful elected official and politician seems to be a, a very supportive and very smart and helpful spouse. What does that mean when you're running for president as a couple? Well, it means there's two people that need to do two different jobs. So I spend a lot of time taking care of the family and making sure everything's running well at home while he is up here in New Hampshire. I think this is his 18th visit. So it's, um, you know, it's a team effort. And Governor, what does your wife's support mean to you on the trail? Well, first of all, she's teaching the girls how to drive. <laughs> oh, well, okay. <laughs> Which is really good because I, I don't know that I could do that very well. And uh, look, she takes care of the home front. She's an independent person and she does her thing. And I'm thrilled to have her here. My daughters are here this weekend as well. And it's, uh, it's just great to have them out. It's really, really fun. And, you know, we, um, sh I've been in politics a long time. She's watched for a long time. She's taken up some really important issues. And that's been great as the First Lady that she's willing to help people who sometimes are not the people that people pay attention to. You mentioned those important issues. One of the issues you have both prioritized in Ohio is human trafficking or fighting human trafficking. Uh, the report that was delivered to the Ohio Human Trafficking Task Force in 2012 indicated that one of the biggest problems is awareness of this issue, public awareness. How do you attack that part of it? And what would you do in the White House if you were elected Governor Kasich? What would be a priority for human trafficking? Starting with you in terms of awareness. Well, at home, uh, to me, it's just absolutely disgusting that in this day and age, people are buying and selling other human beings. And what I try to do is support programs that are raising awareness that actually this happens, not just in the United States, but not just in Ohio, but in our own communities and neighborhoods, our own backyards. So I try to support programs that are out there building awareness of this problem in our own neighborhoods. And, we, and look, we treat the women as victims. Uh, not as offenders, and that's been a sea change. A lot of times, people who were, um, you know, either forced into this, drugged into it, uh, and kept in it, uh, they're not they're not the perpetrators. They're victims, and so we throw the book at the people who are behind them. And uh, a lot of these women now, I happen to meet some of them who are out there now and say, "Thank God, my life has been saved. Thank you for the awareness, and thank f thank you for what you're doing to allow us to get up on our our own two feet and be successful." Governor, how do you change the dynamic in this Republican race here with seven weeks to go? Well, I think it's town halls. It's letting people, look, my view in New Hampshire is people get a chance to really see you. They don't pay that much attention to anything other than they measure your uh, leadership qualities. I'm basically a positive person with a lot of experience. And uh, when it comes to jobs or national security, I've been involved in all of it and been successful. Just got to let people see your heart and make a determination if they think uh, you're a person that could lead this country. All right, and tell us where you're headed next, right out of the studio, or are you heading to over to the seacoast? You guys are going over to Portsmouth for a holiday town hall? We're headed to a holiday town hall, which will be a great chance for the girls and I to meet some of the people in Portsmouth, as this is our first official campaign visit in New Hampshire. Fantastic. And they can't wait to eat there. <laughs> <All right. You laughs> know, seafood. Great seafood in yeah, Portsmouth. That's exactly right. Thanks so much for joining us today. <laughs> we appreciate you. that.